Reading Course Development for English 115 Students. Chapter 4 Competition. Unit 2 The Strange Training Methods of World Class Athletes. Objectives. After completing this unit, students will be able to recall the famous athletes mentioned in this unit, describe the rigorous way they train themselves, and explain the qualities needed to be a successful athlete. Paragraph 1. World-class athletes have always looked for ways to improve their level of fitness. In Greek and Roman times, some athletes would drink strains potions as part of their training. In the past century, athletes have tried everything from eating raw eggs to sleeping in hyperbaric chambers to have an advantage and win a competition. Here are four world-class athletes and the uncommon techniques they used to train for their competitions. Chuchinambu. Chuchinambu was an Olympic athlete in the 1928 and 1932 Games. He ran one leg or part of Japan's four by 100 meter relay, a race run by four athletes, one after the other. And he won medals for the long jump and triple jump. Because Nambu lived in northern Japan, he was unable to practice outdoors in the cold winters. He trained by doing workouts in a local department store, running up and down the stairs. He also studied the natural world to improve his technique. He observed or closely watched frogs and monkeys as they jumped and tried to use their techniques in his own jumps. Tegla La Rope Tegla La Rope is an Olympic runner from Kenya. Before she won the New York City Marathon in 1994, she was unknown in the international running scene. La Rope began running as a way to get to her school six miles away. If she was late for school, she was punished. She also ran at home on her family's farm. Her family owned cattle, and La Rope had to run to herd them, or control their movement as a group. At 4 foot 11 and 90 pounds, she is still considered the fastest female marathon runner. Katerina Numanova Katerina Numanova is a cross-country skier from the Czech Republic. She won a gold medal in the 2006 Winter Olympics. While other athletes are in bed, Katerina Numanova is training. Part of her training is sleeping inside a special tent. The conditions inside the tent simulate the conditions at high altitudes. The conditions are very tough to endure because it is like being on high mountains where there is cold temperatures and less oxygen. Living at high altitudes allows your body to adjust to less oxygen. Many people believe this improves athletic performance. Katerina has another hypoxic, low oxygen tent that is big enough for her to move around in. Three times each week, Katerina exercises inside her training tent. Lynn Cox Lynn Cox was the first person to swim across the Bering Strait from Alaska to Siberia. She wore only a bathing suit and swim cap. Cox began training for open water swimming as a teenager by acclimating her body to cold temperatures. She swam in cold water, slept without blankets, with the windows open, and always wore light clothes in the winter. Her techniques worked. At age 15, she became the fastest person to swim across the English Channel. Match the following words with its correct meaning on the right. Number one, potion. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. C. Aloquid believed to have medical powers. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word potion. Mohammed, can you talk about this? Well, in this picture I see aloquid inside like a tube or something. And it has power because it's red and yellow. And that's what potion means. A liquid believed to have a medical powers. Now let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word potions. I'll highlight the sentence for you. In Greek and Roman times, some athletes would drink strange potions as part of their training. Number two, hyperbaric chamber. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. D, a large, high pressure, high oxygen tube. Now let's take a look at a picture containing the vocabulary words hyperbaric 
chamber. Muhammad, can you please talk about this? Well, in this picture, I see a tube. And it's a large, high pressure, and oxygen tube. And that's what hyperperic chamber is. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary words hyperbaric chambers. I'll highlight the sentence for you. In the past century, athletes have tried everything from eating raw eggs to sleeping in hyperbaric chambers to have an advantage and win a competition. Number three, metal. Mohammed, please give us the correct meaning on the right. E, a special decorative, coin given as awards. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word metal. Muhammad, can you please talk about this? Well, in this picture, I see different co colors of the middle, and it's given for the top three people who won this competition. And that's what middle means, a special decorative, coin given as a reward. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word medals. I'll highlight the sentence for you. He ran one leg or part of Japan's 4 by 100 meter relay. A race run by four athletes, one after the other. And he won medals for the long jump and triple jump. Number four, adjust. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. A. To change to fit new circumstances. Now, let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word adjust. Mohammed, can you please talk about this? Well, I see in this picture someone trying to try a different plan, like plan A, plan B, to fit his new circumstances. And it seems like plan C is working fine for him. And that's what I justify mean, to fit and to change to fit new circumstances. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word adjust. I'll read the sentence for you. Living at high altitudes allows your body to adjust to less oxygen. Number five, acclimate. Muhammad, please give us the correct meaning on the right. To get used to something. B, to get used to something. Now let's take a look at a picture related to the vocabulary word acclimate. Muhammad, can you please talk about this? Well, I see people in high mountains in here, and they have to acclimate themselves to less oxygen to get used to something. Now, let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word acclimating. Cox began training for open water swimming as a teenager by acclimating her body to cold temperatures. Now, let's move to the next exercise. Write a definition for each of the following words. Number one, leg. Muhammad, please give us the definition. In this example, it means part of a race. Let's take a look at a paragraph which gives us that answer. I'll highlight the sentence for you. He ran one leg or part of Japan's four by 100 meter relay, a race run by four athletes, one after the other. Number two, relay. Muhammad, please give us the correct definition. A race run by four athletes. Let's take a look at the paragraph which gives us that answer. And specifically, let's look at this highlighted item, four by 100 meter relay. The first part, number four, signifies how many people or how many times you will run hundred meters. So a 4 by 100 meter relay is a race run by four athletes, one after the other. Number three, observed. Muhammad, please give us the correct definition. To watch with intent. Let's take a look at the paragraph that gives us this answer. Towards the bottom, it reads, he observed or closely watched frogs and monkeys as they jumped and tried to use their techniques in his own jumps. And that is what observed means, to watch with intent, to closely watch. Number four, heard. Muhammad, please give us the correct definition. 
to control the movements of something. Now let's take a look at a paragraph which has the vocabulary word herd in it. I'll read the sentence for you. Her family owned cattle and the rope had to run to herd them or control their movement as a group. Let's take a look at number five, hypoxic. Mohammed, please give us the correct definition. Low oxygen. Let's take a look at a paragraph containing the vocabulary word hypoxic. I'll highlight it for you. Katerina has another hypoxic, which means low oxygen tent that is big enough for her to move around in. Now, let's have a discussion. Mohammed, can you please tell us some of the things that you've learned? Well, I learned about Chu Chi Nambu, the Olympic athlete from Japan, and Tigla Larobe, the math marathon runner from Kenya, and also Katrina Numanova, the skier from the Czech Republic. Lastly, Lynn Cox, the first person to swim across the Burying Strait from Alaska to Canada. And all these athletes have worked so much to get to this point. They trained every day, they ate right, and they watched professional people how they did it, and they followed them.